Anyway, on to the good stuff. One of the releases we got last year was a new album called Skellig from uh, the wonderful David Gray. Um, I did a little review of this album at the time of its release. The album is, as I mentioned at the time, very contemplative, it's very quiet, um, it's quite subdued. Uh, but uh, I'm really into it, I'm still enjoying it. I, I listened to it again just the other day and uh, it's a very restful sort of album and I, 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 I love it. And particularly uh, one of its lead singles, a song called Heart and Soul, which um, is still probably my favourite on the album. I think that's a beautiful song. Uh, but there are other songs that have really grown on me since since I made uh, my review of this video. Uh, songs like uh, Spiral Arms, love the backing vocals on on, uh, on that song. The backing vocals and vocal harmonies are, are something that really characterise this album. Uh, the White Owl is also a wonderful tune. Uh, Accumulates, uh, which I think was also a single released just after the album. Uh, that one is also... Uh, a lovely song so it, it's it's not a song it's not an album for the um, for the party animal I think I said that as well at the time but it's it's a very laid-back um, and very very uh, peaceful restful sort of album uh, so that's that was Skellig um, David has been meaning to go out on tour uh, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of this uh, White Ladder, uh, or the 20th anniversary of it becoming successful anyway, because it really took off uh, around about the year 2000. Um, and that's really what established uh, David Gray as um, as one of the, uh, the, the the big headliner acts out there. And, and, uh, uh, and this album produced endless uh, hit singles, you know, such as Please Forgive Me and uh, This Year's Love and Sail Away. Uh, it's an album that still holds up to this day. So he had been meaning to, to uh, go out on tour playing this entire album from start to finish in uh, 2020 uh, for its 20th anniversary. Uh, but of course then the lockdowns came along and so it had to be postponed. He moved it all into 2021. 2021 turned out to be just as much of a disaster as 2020. And now it's all been moved into 2022. So he's now going to be touring. It's looking pretty certain now that he will be able to get out on the road um, in spring 2022. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to any of the shows. He is playing Bournemouth, which is my, which is my relatively local um, venue. But uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm already seeing Sting at the London Palladium in, in April. And uh, that's kind of sucked up all whatever funds I may have been able to use to go to other concerts. Uh, but um, it, it, I saw a photo, I think it was just yesterday actually, of, of David with his band. Um, they've obviously started rehearsals um, and it, it's good to see the band back together and hopefully, hopefully in 2022 we can get back to some level of, of normality. And so David will be going out on tour with White Ladder and probably be playing a few songs from Skellig as well. I think he's going to be playing a, a few other songs, a few hits from other albums and presumably a, a few songs from, from Skellig too. So that's David Gray.